happy James Randi's birthday. So sad. Every August the um, 7th, when it's uh, James Randi's birthday comes around. And then in October, when he died um, three years ago, it's just always such an emotional time for me. I think about all the amazing things James Randi has done and how he inspired people and how he handled so much hate from people who were not kind to him. And I get these little tiny hate messages from people who comment on my videos every so often. And I think that's nothing compared to what, what uh, James Randi had to put up with. By the way, my name is Susan. It is not Karen. And it, I don't consider being called a Karen an insult. I just think it means you're an idiot because that is so over. And I love lots of people who are named Karen. So, you know, stop it already. Also, I had a nasty comment. Somebody telling me I needed to comb my hair. <laughs> it's like, I, you, okay, just think about what I'm thinking. I don't care about my hair. <laughs> and you shouldn't care about my hair. And you just care about quality of my videos. So what I'm going to do today, <laughs> I just had to get that out of the way. So I got a re I got a request from a woman named Katie who said, could I look into this, this trans medium? I've never heard of her before. And this is just silly. All right. So I glanced at the video that she gave me. This woman has a full channel. And I should show you what the channel looks like. But for the moment, what we're going to do is we're going to look at this video. It's 33 minutes long, so we're not going to do 33 minutes. We're just going to look at parts of it, okay? <laughs> and I thought, a trans medium? This is 2023. Come on now. <laughs> really? So, yeah, I know I'm being very flippant. Um, I've already assumed that this woman is just talking to herself and using a funny voice. But, I mean, she's got all these followers, and she's got 3,000, 4,000 subscribers on a YouTube channel, so she's got you know, four times as many as I have. <laughs> By the way, could you please like and share and subscribe to my channel? I would really appreciate it. <laughs> it's a lot of work doing these things. Today, it's kind of a flippant kind of thing I'm going to do, but we'll see. Hey, maybe she's going to change my mind and I'm going to be convinced that she's really uh, a trans medium and she's channeling some, I kid you not, Victorian businessman named Jonathan. make this shit up um and i wanted to say hello to um somebody who reached out to me named fins uh from the netherlands hi hi thank you for your email thank you for your kind words thank you for not talking about my hair <laughs> and um um your suggestion i love it let's let's make that happen and um, I just want to say hi. So if, if you guys want to get in contact with me, say I'm wearing my amazing Randy, one of my amazing Randy shirts today, Flim Flam. Um, if you would be so kind to leave um, comments to me about things you want to see, people you want to hear about, my thoughts on other, other of these um, psychic medium thingies, I'd be happy to look into them. Uh, you can email me at Susan Gerbic at gmail.com you can send me a private message on facebook i'm quite open to that make sure you get the right susan gerbic because i have a cousin that i do not know who has the same name and uh she probably gets some very interesting messages <laughs> that are meant for me poor lady same age as i am and uh so you know, take a look at my facebook page before you send a private message to me make sure you have the right facebook page all right and so i'm happy to look at your readings um from time to time people will send me videos or audio that they had of their own readings or a family or friend and if you want me to i can keep it totally private i've done that many times and just give you back my analysis of what's going on or what i think is going on or or whatever i'm happy to do that in fact i really enjoy doing that it's a fun fun thing to do uh, it's a nice puzzle and i always learn something from you guys I also like to know why you think it's real or why you think um, it's not. Or, you know, I like to hear your thought process as well on that. 
So please go ahead and take care of that. Email me, Facebook me. That's fine. Um, I'm on Twitter or whatever it's called now, X. I'm on threads somewhat and Instagram. There's, But, you know, I don't really post there all that often or or respond to things. But, I mean, if you sent me a direct message, obviously I'm going to, I'm going to get that message, but it'll take a little delay. So email or a Facebook Messenger is absolutely the best place to get a hold of me. And um, just those are some of my thoughts. Let's, um, my book series, don't forget, I am reviewing some books. I have a lot to get through. Plus I have shelves that are still over to the side that I'd like to get to. They're, they're not getting a lot of views. I don't know if there's a lot of viewers out there who are readers or not, but I find it fascinating. I think that we have a rich history in the world of um, understanding why the paranormal is still a thing, which I'm shocked that after COVID, um, that we would still have people who are claiming to be psychic and uh, astrologers and so on, because nobody predicted COVID. Nobody. And that was a worldwide event that affected everyone in some way and um, so many deaths. And yet we still have mediumship. In fact, it took on a resurgence during the pandemic. So I've, I'm i really shocked. I'm really shocked that we still have that. So let's get to this video, all right? Um, I don't know who this woman is. She's sitting on a couch and most of her videos show her sitting on the same couch. She looks like she's got her curtains closed behind her and she's got a Christian cross on. So she believes that this is, she's some sort of Christian, I guess. And she's got a camera on her and she's going to, I believe, fall into a trance or she's going to say she's in a trance and she's going to be channeling somebody named Jonathan and give messages to the world about peace and goodness and stuff like that. So let's check this out. I'll, I'll stand it as long as I can, but I, I don't think I'm going to be able to do 33 minutes. So bear with me, leave your comments because I'm very curious what you guys have to say. All right, Susan, I need to, I need to take this seriously. Hello everyone. I thought I'd join you again um, for a video where Jonathan just speaks freely about any subjects that he wishes to cover. Um, he's very pleased about the, uh, the quotes and he asked me to do it. So you probably, some of you might have seen it already. But here it is. These, some of the quotes, I know you want to have a look. You see them. So they've done them really well. Some of the books will vary because um, they will be, there'll be less quotes, but this book's got a 41 in it. And, you know, I'm very proud of the achievement. It took me quite a while to do them all, um, many hours, many days, so it's worth it in the end. So you can take a look on my Facebook. Um, it's a bit hard to put it on the website because there are so many pages. Um, see, look, you've got some of his quotes, we will never desert you, which they won't. When you get a troubled mind go to the positive thought so that's true um if you go to the positive thought now here's a saying that i like that jonathan tends to say apparently um when people ask him how he is he says oh, i'm nothing other than fine thank you he says i've noticed on there so that's what he says it's uh you know, I believe that our spirit guides give us lovely words and, um, you know, I've decided to make a, a everlasting book because 
obviously when I go off this world, this book will still be here on other books that I do. Um, I haven't written my book about the uh, whole thing yet, the whole journey, but I'm going to need some help with that one. So I, we're, we're all going to join in together on that one. And I must make sure it's done because I promised Spirit I'd do it. Something to leave on this earth when I get old and grey and leave the earth and go back home again. Do you see the path of life? Look how nice that is. See, they guide me to do these things and it takes a lot of patience and a lot of waiting around, but um, it is worth it. So I'll read you one last quote. And that's like, uh, there is a force outside of you, but there's also a force inside of us. And there's, we love you all. So that's that, and I'm proud of it. And, um, you know, if, if you are having one, then I hope you get great enjoyment from it. What I would recommend is just hold the book and open a page. And however you feel, if you're feeling a little bit, you know, lost or you just want some general guidance in life, then just turn it open to a page. And it might give you a little bit of help, just a little bit of encouragement to um to move forward in life you know or to find your way so now we're going to we're going to uh go into the trance now and i'm going to leave jonathan to do what he wants to do so if i'm looking up in the air a bit it's just we've got two cameras here so uh i'll remember that we've got this one down here all right so i hope that you all enjoy it and I just once again I'd just like to thank you all for your your encouragement and your support because if it weren't for you we wouldn't be doing these things and um, you know if it wasn't for spirit coming to us we wouldn't be doing it so we thank them and then we thank you for um, understanding and listening to them <clears throat> and knowing that they're here with us, reassuring us. Okay, so before we get to the transmediumship, let's just talk about who she is. I had no idea who she was, so I've been scooping around. I think she's in Portsmouth, which is a wonderful place to visit in uh, the UK. I loved it. It is a terrific place. I did a talk for the Portsmouth's Portsmouth the skeptics. I think she's there. She's doing a talk coming up or doing readings at the Deaf Center, which I found very ironic because okay, you know. Um she is has a Facebook page, 3.4 thousand Facebook viewers. On Instagram, she's got 1.8 she has a podcast. I don't think it has very many views. She's been doing this since 2005. And uh, she's got a Patreon. Has 27 members. And, uh, well, you know, as a hobby, I guess you could have something worse <laughs> than, than uh, sitting on a couch talking to it, talking t in the funny voice. Well, we're going to see. For somebody named Jonathan, who's going to tell everybody how to have a good life. And she put out a little book. I assume she's selling those. There's nothing wrong with that. If you put out a little book of inspirational quotes and you say that the quotes came from a dead person that was at a Victorian businessman named Jonathan, I guess. Um, her private readings are 55 pounds, which um, is for one or two people. You can get a group reading for $70, 70 pounds. Um, if you want to go up to seven people, it's 15 pounds per person and she'll give you a reading. So not, not overly expensive, I guess, if you're, if you have some disposable cash, it's not such a big deal. She is doing a sit in, sit in borough 
spiritualist center coming up in oh i guess it's already passed unless it's, it's june it says june 11th unless that's for june 11 2024 oh the portsmouth deaf center was july 22nd so possibly that's outdated i have trouble keeping my website up to up to par and possibly other people could be doing that she's got some art um you know some hearts and things you guys can check this out for yourself i'm not going to show you right now because um it's all right there just go to her her um, website which is elainethorpe.com she's got a lot of videos and she does zoom sessions she's got one coming up in a couple days august 9th i wonder if i should check that out anyway so that's who she is let's go over to let's hear jonathan and let's see what we think you know sometimes we get stuck in the earthly way of thinking a bit don't we and we get complacent with life and we think oh why and we haven't heard from our guides or we haven't heard from our loved ones that they do see us and we don't always know they're there we may feel them there we may not you know we may be just be thinking in, in a logic state of mind and we're not always thinking about them so anytime you want to talk to your guide don't feel foolish just ask them to send you a sign or talk to them and they're, they're bound to send you signs you know it's what they're here for they love you and they want you to know that they're there to to help you to remember your journey and to give you reminders and signs about it you know all the um trying to think of the word for it now oh what's the word for it about oh, synchronicity I just, I just had it in that book actually so i should have known um so we, we're going to try and keep these videos um a little bit informal you know i don't want to appear to you all rigid and and everything like that i just like to be ourselves in these videos hopefully um when we're not so busy with things we will do a live on the youtube um we may even try one on the TikTok. um but it's it's just getting somebody to look after that but uh mostly on the youtube we like doing the lives on there where you come in and you ask the questions and what have you um do look out for for me on other people's programs that will come up because i have been invited to do um other videos on their channels and it also helps promote their channel if you're going to watch it so now we will uh get with the job in hand and uh, I hope you all enjoy.
Well, everyone, I am happy to be here, to be with you so that you can listen to what I am going to say to you. I am going to help you to, uh, to understand that relaxing your mind is good for you. Meditation, quietening of the mind, believing in yourself and trusting in the universe, yourself, and your guide, and of course your loved ones, knowing that they are in touch with you. So I will be offering some uh, quietening of the mind meditations at some point. They will just be my voice. They will not be any cameras, so we will decide what sort of platform is most suitable for you to listen to these guided meditations on. There will not be a lot of them because, of course, Elaine is very busy. But I would like to help you to relax and to help you go on your journey to connect with your higher self and the heavens and the universe, which is most important on your journey because it is giving you access to your higher self. It is giving you access to peace, which is what most of you people pray for in your lives, isn't it? Peace. And peace is a, a beautiful thing, you see. When you find that within you, then you feel really good. When you are irritated or angry, you feel all uptight. And, and you feel awful in general. But as soon as you take a breath and you sit and relax and you quiet in your mind, you feel much better. So uh, name a person that hasn't felt good when they've sat and quiet in their mind. There isn't one really, is there? There is instant calming. And it is healing you. It is relieving you of feeling so bad. But we understand that sometimes that you get angry with one another in life, it happens. But what we suggest is if you have been in that state of mind, then go out for a good walk. And if you're not able to do that, go somewhere and quiet in your mind. Put some music in your ears or do something of that nature. So coming away from that, I would say that uh, look forward to it, what I will offer to you. All I need is for my medium Elaine to trust in me and uh, then I will do the rest. Yes. So with the awakening that is happening in your world, we want you to know that the veil is thinning. And we want you to know that that means that synchronicities are going to be everywhere in your lives. They're not there to irritate you or annoy you in any way. They are there for you to have the greater understanding that we are here and we do notice how you feel. We do love you. So we will send you those signs and synchronicities not every moment of every day, but because there is a huge spiritual awakening taking place, then we will be sending numbers, signs, everything. They have always happened, admittedly, yes, but more so. And the more spiritual you become, the more you become connected to your higher self, the more that you will notice these synchronicities that happen. I'm impressed with as long as she went for the you know she's sitting on the couch and she's waiting for Jonathan to show up and how that long pauses because that was really a long pause most of the time you see mediums just like let's hurry it up let's hurry up all right there he is your grandfather's here now you know it's a real quick thing because they know that their attention span of their audience isn't long and they've got things to be doing and 
time is money, I guess, but she did a very long, um, that was, that was wonderful. I, I was pleased by that quietness. And I guess if you're going to be connecting with somebody, it would take that long. I don't know, whatever, but I, I was impressed that she was able to stay that long in that position to, um, with the anticipation that somebody's supposed to be speaking through her. That was, I don't know, a minute or more. That was good. I'm impressed with that. That's about it. So she's got this nice voice that she's bringing through. So I, I did a little reading. And Jonathan, his last name is Hunter. And he's from the 1800s in, in England. He's using some pretty common um, modern words and phrases that I thought was interesting. And that's what uh, the woman who proposed I look into this, Katie, said. She says, I don't think he'd be using modern day phrases, but I guess Jonathan's in tune with what's happening in the world today. Um, he's giving vague statements. She's giving vague statements about um, sitting quiet and and meditating and and thinking about you know your world and looking for signs this looking for signs thing is means that you who are wanting to have a sign from somebody to associate with something like finding a penny with a year on it that might correspond to something that you're I don't know, like something possible with your family member that you're thinking of, you're looking for a sign from. It could be music that you hear. It could be a button you find. It could be a butterfly. It could be a flower. It could be thousands of things that if you're motivated to find a sign, you'll find a sign because it's not like they're going to hold up a sign with your name on it and saying, hey, this is your sign. I'm trying to get a hold of you. Signed, your loved one. It's it's just your brain is connecting to anything. And all mediums seem to use this, this trope. It's a trope. And it's because humans have this giant computer in their head, this brain that we have, that is trying to find patterns in the world. That's how we function. That's how we are able to um, be human. And so we're constantly trying to find connections. And so that's our signs. It's not finding a sign that somebody's sending you from the dead. It is just the way life is. I'm not sure I should go any further in this. What do you guys think? Oh, my Lord. So if it's more of that, uh, I don't know if I can handle any more. Let, let's just fast forward it, you and I together. Let's let's just fast forward and see see what's coming up. So things take time. Okay, things take time. For a, a moment, stop and think to yourself. You know, what, how do I feel? How do I feel? I feel like I can't believe I'm wasting my time. But it's interesting, at least. It's going about your day, but when you stop and you see a huge synchronicity in front of She likes that word synchronicity. That That's something that, you know, you have difficulty with, some of you, because your minds are so busy with the earthly things. Oh, our minds are busy with earthly things, like paying bills, getting to appointments on time. Well, you could do it. There are things in this world that are humanly impossible because you have a physical body, but you're... Okay, Jonathan, and let's see how she ends this. I will be back again next time with some guidance to help you. That's nice. I bid you all good day. Good day. God bless you all. God bless you all. Well, that was that. Impressed? I'm not impressed at all. So transmediumship has been around for a very long time. 
not a lot of work, right? You just got to talk in a funny voice. I would have liked to see her do some readings or something. That would have been kind of fun. But I guess we'd have to sign up for one of her Zoom classes and do some readings that way. She'll give us some readings. Maybe maybe she'll be able to, or he should, he, she should be able to tell us a lot of things. I, I wonder if Jonathan predicted COVID. What do you guys think? What are the odds of that? Well, thank you for asking me to do this video. Um, or you know, or tell you what I thought was going on, um, Katie, because that was interesting. Oh, I was gonna take a quick look and see what some of the people who are watching these videos, her fans are saying about it. I, I did read some of her, but let me just let me just send a couple to you. Oh, E L A I N E T H R O P E. Let's look at our YouTube channel. I'm gonna just look at it because I can. So the video we just watched has a thousand two hundred views. She has six thousand subscribers. You guys, could I get a subscribe for you, please? Please, pretty please. And then hit my little bell so that you'll know whenever uh, I upload another one of these exciting videos um that video we've just seen has been around for three days it's got 1.2 thousand views it premiered on august 4th and okay so it's got 26 comments so the comments from her fans are saying thank you elaine and jonathan wise and comforting words as always love to you both um, another one says, I really needed to hear this today. Thank you, Jonathan and Elaine. Another one, the great awakening, awakening is very much upon humanity, and it's wonderful to see more and more awakening. Lots of com communities building online, all helping each other with positivity and love. Thank you, Elaine and Jonathan. You know, I was thinking whenever I was listening to Jonathan there speak, that if if they had a cameras and YouTube and so on a hundred years ago, um, 200 years ago and so on. What, what's being said is could be said then it's, there's nothing, nothing new there. So another comment, thank you for putting your time aside to do this for us with Jonathan. Bless you, Elaine. Here's one in all caps. Thank you, Elaine and Jonathan. Jonathan, okay. May the love of the great spirit be with you always. Heart, 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 heart emojis. Okay, this one says, love and hugs and blessing sent to you, Jonathan and Elaine. I love all the videos you both do. God bless you both. Another one says, finding peace within ourselves is vital for our well-being. Okay, this one says, Elaine, before I retired, I spent many years as a publisher. If you'd like some free assistance regarding publishing that next book, please reach out. I'll be joining you both on the Zoom this Wednesday as usual. Oh, wow. She signs herself Allison, but her YouTube channel name is The Bitch 1001. <laughs> I wonder if she knows what that means. Okay, well done, Elaine. Thank you, Elaine and Jonathan. Great job. Beautiful. Great message for us all. Thank you. Would make a lovely gift for friends, family, and loved ones. You are beautiful. Beautiful, Elaine. Heart emoji. Heart emoji. Heart emoji. Thank you. Heart emoji. Okay, it just feels like it's just a bunch of people who want some calmness in their life and their listening to this meditative voice it's a very interesting voice and that life is great and calm and okay is there any harm in this well i think you can probably get that same kind of calmness watching nature videos or um, watching videos of kittens sleeping puppies sleeping you could probably get the same calm from oh i don't know watching uh, the ocean, a video of the ocean. Those kinds of things I think are pretty calming. 
and meditative. And I don't have a problem with meditation. I'm sure that's wonderful. It's probably great for, for a lot of people who are in stressful situations. And so there's no harm in that. The harm is, is that you're, you're falling into this well of thinking that this woman is communicating with somebody outside of um, somebody in the 1800s named Jonathan. And if you watch it and know darn well, she's not <laughs> communicating with somebody. And you've suspended your belief, like maybe watching a movie or something like that. You've suspended your belief and you know darn well that you're not really watching a, a medium. And you're watching just like a performance. Well, that's great. That's cool. That's fine. But when you start believing that this is a real communication, then that's kind of a slippage in your brain that opens the door to gullibility and possible exploitation by others. Because let me tell you, there's hundreds, if not thousands of people out there who would love to exploit you for money, for um, getting into your lives and, and associating themselves with your loved ones and saying they're in contact with you. So in this video, I didn't see anything where she was reaching out and giving messages to anybody. But if she's saying she's a medium that does that kind of stuff, well, then there's where you're really crossing the line because you're then getting into the world of other people's business and changing people's remembrances and memories that, that we have of our loved ones, which is sometimes all we have in a lot of cases, you know, photos, videos. Yeah. But your memories, they're, they're malleable. We can, we can change those. And so it's probably a good idea that we um, not allow strangers to, to get into those memories and start um, messing around. So again, thank you so much, Katie, for your suggestion. I look into this. I hope you found that I gave you my impressions of what I think is going on. And um, you guys send me suggestions. I'm, I'm happy to hear it. Please like and subscribe.